Welcome to Wendy's Art. This is Wendy and beside me is my granddaughter Rhea and today we will be doing a textured abstract in girly pink colours. Um, what we're doing here is we've got a um, two 12 by 12 inch stretch canvases. We've added some gesso and just spreading that around to cover the entire canvas. Um, doesn't matter how you do it, it's, it's just as long as it's covering up the canvas for you. Um, the next step is that we're just sprinkling on some sand, some clean sand. Um, and the idea of this is just to give some texture. A um, bit more gesso and spread that around. And it will give you a lovely textured background to start with. So just you can spread that as you wish and leave whatever textures and designs you wish. Uh, just a nice easy start. Okay, so the gesso is dry. And now we're going to apply our uh, quinacridone purple, um, which we have on the plate here. And what we're going to do is mix a section of that. So we get a bit of bit of that purple. pop over here. Let me pop it. And a little bit of white. And just mix that in. Okay, a bit more white. Okay, I think we're gonna need all of that white pop. <laughs> A dark color isn't it okay are you happy with yours or do you want some more um i like mine you're gonna need more paint than that sweetie see how much nana's got okay. okay and what i'm going to do is use some golden acrylic glazing liquid and i'm just going to put that straight onto the canvas if i can get it to open <laughs> come on we should have the oh, similar right. colours. I don't know. Must have blocked up or something. Mm. Do you want me to pause it? Okay. No, you soften. Just got the little bit off the end. I think that's what was blocking it. Let's try that again and see. Yep, okay. So if you have that problem, just there's a little hard bit on the end, you just need to knock that off. So what I'm doing is just putting some on the canvas here. There you go, Rhea, you can pour a little bit on yours. It just makes it easier to distribute the paint. Rather than using water, um, it keeps the pigment just as vibrant. Okay, okay. so. Let's go. Let's go. Just spreading it. This is just really gonna be our, our base coat. Yeah. It's a really nice purple. Picky purple, isn't it? Yeah. And we should have about the same colour because we have the same amount of paint. We're just mixing water. Too. Just to get that last little bit of paint off there. Okay, so it doesn't have to cover the whole canvas, but... Most it might, of it. Might just, just about make it. Yeah. There you go. You can get a little bit more off there. Just needs a little bit to that mix with that. And then you can have a bit of darker colour as well. Yeah. And we'll have really, really nice texture that we can feel. You can see it already, can't you? Yeah. Okay, so I'm um, just using a bit of the straight colour to mix with that blend, just to get myself enough to cover the canvas. I don't have enough. Okay, give you a bit more white. Yeah. Because don't forget we want to try and go around the edges as well. So... Some more white with that, add some more white with that. Okay, mix that together. You can mix a bit of that in with it as well. Now we have plenty and we can go around the edges. Yeah, I didn't have just enough. Touch up before. these areas on here. It is nice just to get that whole canvas covered, isn't it? Yeah. Get 
inside those bits of texture there. still got a bit to go. Alright, now I'm just going to start doing my edges. That mix. So I just hold it up and just, just bring the brush up in the direction of the top of the canvas there. Let's have a nice coating. to go around the edges. Yeah. Okay, now what I think I'll do is put that canvas down here. This is how you can do it, sweet, instead of holding it up and juggling it. It's just to go up the edges. So you just put the canvas off the table just a little bit and it just gives you that edge where you can go up and do your edges. I'm still going on here. Okay. I think I may need a bit bigger brush. spray just let you pick up a bit more of that paint. while you're going. Like, yeah, it makes it easier. Yeah. Otherwise at the end you won't know the exact colour that you use. Especially when you're mixing. Yeah. The colour's not quite the same as the one out of the tube. Yeah. Or the bottle in our case. <laughs> oh, and then it's just got enough. Just. Just scraped in. <laughs> Final bit. Okay. Okay, I've got a little bit on my hands. That's alright, that'll wash off, don't worry about that. Okay. Alright, well that was fun. Okay, so that's our first layer. So Maria's just going to keep going with her edges, but I'm gonna stop here and We'll be back when it's all dry to go on with our next layer. So, see you in a minute. When it's dry, we're going to put the straight colour on the edges to make it look darker. Yep, not just on the edges. We're going to use the straight colour just to add some darks. And we've also got some... So that was the quinacridone purple. We also have some Payne's Grey in the Ara brand as well. Um, and we're probably going to mix that with a bit of the quinacridone purple or maybe use a bit straight as well. Just what we're doing now is we're going to give it some dark. So here we go. I'm going to be using a brush. I think I'm going to use a scraper. Mix that with a little bit. So I'm mixing a bit of Payne's Grey into my purple and same. Marie is doing the same. effects with your scrapers on texture though, just for your yeah. information. I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. This is too big. And using a scraper you can also use, use it to get both colours coming out. See that? Look at that. Yeah. 
Look at that, that's nifty. Look, it's like a bit of Payne's grey and a bit of the dark. Oh. Oh, look at that, that's cool. That's very cool, I like that. We're just experimenting. We are, having some fun. Yeah. Fun on a wet rainy day, <laughs> wet rainy Saturday. We actually have never done this before. Well, I have with sand. <laughs> I've used sand. Actually, I used sand on my very, very first abstract many years ago. But I haven't done this before. No, no one's done things like this before. Just not with you. So it's a good time to try it with you, yeah? Yeah. While well, I'm here. Oh well, yeah. See how it catches on the texture? Yeah. I need a bit more. Now I'm gonna use my paintbrush to do some parts. them together. Now I'm just going to do the purple. That's a lovely dark colour. I think I like that better than using black. It gives it a still a dark colour but just a different richness. about it too hard but try and do something that you find pleasing to you that's all you can do with art is do something that you like if you like it somebody else out there will like it <laughs> my favorite subject in school is art is it yeah that's good okay that's going to be all for me stick that in there i'm still going okay I'm just going to do here and then I'll be done. Okay. And I suggest to use your scraper to drag it in a bit off the edges so that yep. it's not just like a frame. Yeah, use this one. Mixing the colors in. It's kind of like fading it out, which is cool. Mm. Okay, a bit of an interruption from the dog. Um, but what we're doing now is just, we finished the bit of adding the darks on the canvas. Now we're just going to run it to match around the edges. Yeah. Each, nearly each color we go, we're gonna run it around the edges. Yeah. And do it, if you're gonna do it with a brush like me, do it in an upwards motion. If that makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> Put it on it like 
on the edge of the table so you can pick it up. It won't be too long doing this. As long as it takes. After we paint the edges, we're going to see you when it's dry. We've mixed the quinacridone purple and paint grey together. Yeah, same colours, we're just doing the darks, repeating them on the edges. Just to make it looks like, look like it's carrying over. It's nice when it's hung up if it's not just stopped at the edge, but carries right through. I'm just going to spray mine with water to there's more paint to use. It's a nice texture, doesn't it? Yeah. You can also use texture. I've used texture paste with the sand in it before and just, just texture paste. Um, I've also used texture paste with some microbeads in it, which gives a really interesting sort of texture. I'm finished on mine. Okay. I'm All right. Gonna... So I'll switch it off there and um, be back to do some lighter shades of pink when it's dry. Okay, so we're moving on to the next layer now. Um, I've chosen to use some more quinacridone purple and I'm going to mix that with some quinacridone magenta from the Ara range again. Like so. And I'm also going to keep the white handy so that I can actually build up some lighter pinks as well. So far I've got a mid-range tone for the base and then I've added some darks. Um, and I'd like to add a slightly different pink, but then get some lighter hues in there as well. Maria can tell you what she's going to do. I'm going to mix um, lots of quinacridone magenta with just one tiny dot of quinacridone purple. Okay, so here we go. Because I want it to be a bit dark, but I don't want it to be too, too dark. That's a pretty. Let's borrow this. I'm going to be using the scraper. I love how when you pick it up with this palette knife, you can actually get the colours not quite mixed together, so you get a bit of each, which is really interesting. Look at that, see, I've got a bit of that as well. Beautiful. I'm going to get more paint and mix it with some white now. Let me just... Okay. I'm going to go get some more paint. the dark one. That. It's 
going to turn out really cool. Now I'm going to get the titanium white to mix. Remembering to go over the edges here and try and keep that theme going. Okay, I'm gonna mix it all together to make a really nice light pink. Actually going to get the blue paper towel here and spray some here's the blue paper towel and I'm gonna spray some water on it and I'm gonna cover it over and oh, and press it down not too hard though because it's canvas and lift it up to get that and you can see but throw it a bit. I'm gonna keep doing that. Because if you think you have too much of an opaque spot you can just use that to get some off. Yeah and you can see through. Mm -hmm. That magenta is a pretty colour isn't it? Yeah. I need a bit more of that one. Okay. If you do you do it really lightly with that, it just skips over the texture. Okay. Look, if I just do it lightly, see how it just just picks up a bit of the texture? Yep. Instead of doing it heavy, just really lightly. Light, light, light. See that? You can kind of see the grey below it. And I'm still fiddling with my magenta here. <laughs> I'm loving that. It's beautiful colour. Don't normally really use pinks that often, so this is a fun girly one to do together, isn't it, Bob? Yeah. I use pinks, but I don't use it like on a daily basis. <laughs> You don't, don't you? Well, sometimes. You're funny. Sometimes. <laughs> don't do it on a daily basis. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. And at the end, we're both going to use some stencils. Well, I don't even know if I'm going to now. I'm really liking how this is looking. I might. You might? I'm just mixing some white to make it a bit lighter. Yeah, I think I'm happy with this. Oh, it is. Just putting a bit of pink on the edges here.
a very fun activity if you've got one of your grandkids over and you just want to do something together. Pick some colours that you both like and you can't go wrong. It's just lots of fun. Yeah. And it actually looks amazing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to put my scraper away and I'm going to get the brush out. both done that layer so we'll be back soon when these are dry. So I'm going to be doing some gold spatter with the Ara gold colour and the fast medium fixer. So let's just get started. Rory loves interrupting people. That's the dog for those that obviously don't know. Stop it. <laughs> I've decided I'm going to add some silver to mine. So I've got some Deco Art Extreme Sheen. Mm. Rory, be quiet. <laughs> Rory loves interrupting people. That's nearly her favourite thing to do. Okay, I'll try and get the lid off this. If you're wondering what type of fast medium fixer we're using, we're using Atelier Medium Spice medium fixer. Okay. It's just better to use to make the spatter than the water because it, it, it's actually an, a medium so it actually helps to keep the pigment strength there. Oh, careful, I've been going on mine. Oh. Okay. Okay. okay, so... Oh no, it's got the lid off. Okay, so I'm just going to get a new palette. You can um just tap it gently so it doesn't if you just flick it, it won't get everywhere. Okay, so I'm just gonna try with a palette knife. So Nana's going to get a palette knife to use and she'll tell you what she's going to do. Get more of the gold. Okay, so I'm just going to... Okay, I'm ending up with a bit of unwanted gold on mine. <laughs> It's, it's actually going on my painting. Okay, I'm going to stop it there and get ready to move so I can do my silver. Okay, okay so I've removed the spatterer. <laughs> Come over here to She's my table. elsewhere. Okay, so I'm just going to see what the silver looks like. Just lightly adding in a few spots. Now, my focus area, I think, is going to be down here. So, putting a bit more around this area here. If you want to know what your focus area is, you divide it into three. Yeah, using the rule of three. So, I've divided my canvas into three lots of three. So, these four spots could be the focus area. And I think I always tend to go for this one here. So, I'm going to put lots of spatter in my focus. So just coming down here. Because of the, the sand providing the texture, it um, gives the palette knife a really nice opportunity to shine here and just pick up little bits of interest. I'm nearly finished my spell. Okay, I'm liking the silver, it's looking really pretty. I'm just going to 
playing the ball. Loving this silver, really pretty. Just trying to, sort of feeling like it just needed something else other than pinks <laughs> to give it that little bit of a boost. Okay, I have finished my spatter. Okay, come and show us. So Rhea's done her spatter, we'll just let that dry and see how it looks. Okay, pretty. Okay. While we're waiting for it to dry, let's watch now. Oh, I'm nearly done. Can you move it? Hmm? No. <laughs> Why? Because there's no space. Yeah, but you're not doing anything done. Okay, so nearly done and then we'll wait for these to dry and then what we'll do is come in with our finishing touches. So we'll see when the paint is dry. Okay, so we're on the final legs now. Um, Mine is we've, dry. Hmm, we've both looked at them and we've decided that they just need just something extra just to lift them a little bit more. A pop of colour. Yep, so I'm going to be using the Violet Metallic by Ara. And Rhea has chosen to use the violet with to, some... Um, brilliant pink. Brilliant pink, so... To, just to mix the colour. I think this violet metallic will just give it a, a really pretty... This is what the colour looks like. <laughs> okay. Are you sure that's what you want to use? Yep. Okay. I'll give it a just nice lightly. pop. Remember, just yep. lightly. This colour is really nice. Because it's kind of like a nice pale pink. And I'm going to do it on my focus area. Which is your focus area? Yeah. Up there? Okay. Blend into three. You can kind of tell because I've, I've put lots of spatter. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty. Very pretty. I might use that too. I need more paint. This time I'm going to add just a dot of brilliant pink and more violet. Just dot. Small, tiny dot. more I just really wanted it just as a small bit of highlight and I think I'm pretty happy with that so I'm calling mine done and I'm just going to add a bit of violet and I'll be finished so you're gonna watch me do mine and I'm just finding a paint pen so I can do my signature Anna's gonna do her signature and I'm going to do my signature in the violet I'll definitely match. That <laughs> that's the one that's dried up. Okay. Ready and... This is a really nice colour. I'm going to get a bit more violet. Silver it is. <laughs> so I'm going to sign. I, I use these um, Liquitex paint markers to do my signature a lot of the time. Not all the time, but they make it so much easier. Let's make sure it's... Oh, oh, this looks like some of them are dried up. That one's dried up. They're very old. That was working yesterday. So, so, so I've had the lid on right. Okay, let's find another one. <laughs> Much luck with this one. I'm just gonna finish doing the purple. Just do it really lightly, like. Do you want gold to do your signature? Yes. And 
I'm going to be using the Liquitex, Liquitex Professional Paint Marker in gold. Just about finished. Just get some more of the paint. And I'm finished. Now I'm going to sign it with the Liquitex marker. If you didn't know, my signature is RM. Signed yours. I've just found my Posca pen in silver. So hopefully, I'll have a bit more luck with that one. Oh, yeah, don't forget to shake it. I'm just going to outline mine. Okay, let's see how we go. It's hard doing it over the sand. Yeah. Mine, this part where I did my signature, there's not much sand. So we're going to show you the results. Okay. So, I'll show you yours. This not one close, okay. is mine. Okay. Very pretty. It's hard to see the gold spatter on camera, but there's a lot of it mm. in real life. Yep, it looks lovely. Now it's time for Maddie's. Okay. And this is my one. Okay, so all done. A nice, quick and easy textured abstract. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, please subscribe to Wendy's Art and click like if you enjoyed the video. And um, hopefully we'll be doing some more. So thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.